Is that the secret of your miraculous strength? How did your loving heart bear such a burden and such a weight? As you watched him stumble and fall, were you tortured by the men? When Jesus ate the last supper with his apostles, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because Jesus celebrated the Passover meal with his chosen apostles and instituted the Eucharist. He gave them his own body and blood in the form of bread and wine. Each time we celebrate the Mass, we are once again invited to partake of the Last Supper. Lord Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane, we adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because by your holy cross, but his disciples were overcome by sleep, and he was left alone in agony and distress. The thought of his death must have caused Jesus to be. Jesus is brought before the Sons of Jesus. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Our Lord speaks to us. I was arrested and brought before Caiaphas, the high priest, the clouds of heaven. The priest tore my clothes, saying, He has blasphemed. What more evidence do we need? You have heard the blasphemy. What is your verdict? They will answer, He must die. You accepted their unjust sentence and did not rebel. You were sentenced because you claimed to be divine. Many times, Lord, I am given an opportunity to give witness to you, to proclaim that you are indeed God, my Lord. Yet, I try to stay away, stay at a distance, like Peter did. Help me to reach out to the victims of injustice in whatever way I can do, be of assistance. And help me, Lord, never to be oppressed or of the weak. Amen. Jesus is gorged and crowned with thorns. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have made the woods and dressed me in a purple military cloak. Then twisting a crown of thorns, they forced it into my head and placed a reed into my right hand. They knelt before me, mocking me by saying, Hail, King of the Jews! This path on me, took the reed from my hand, and struck me on the head with it. In your suffering, you took upon yourself all our sinfulness. You endured everything. Lord Jesus, like many exploited people, who are defenseless, defenseless before their root. Jesus accepts the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross was laid on my shoulder, and I accepted you. Lord Jesus, we will fight your innocence. Yet with all humility, you accepted it because you knew it was the will of the Father to save us from eternal damnation. That cross you carried was heavy with all our sins, our weaknesses, our failures, our unfaithfulness, and our wickedness. Throughout the world, many people continue to carry heavy crosses because of the sins of others. The crosses others carry and help them instead of adding more burden, burdens to them. Help us also to accept our crosses in life with love and patience as you did yours. Amen. Jesus falls under the weight of the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. For the holy cross you have redeemed because of our wrong choices and wrongdoings. We fall because of our weaknesses, our bondages and addictions that take control of our lives. We fall because of consequences of the sins of others. Hey, Simon. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the cross. 
fearing I might die on the way. Simon just happened to pass that way on his way home from the fields. When we reached Calvary or the place called Golgotha, which means it's Cal, they offered me wine mixed with all. I tasted it, but refused to eat. of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep rather for yourselves and for your children. For the days are coming when people will say, Happy are the women without child. Happy are those who have not given birth or nursery child. And they will say to the mountains, Fall on us. And to the hills, Fall on us. Meditations, Lord Jesus, those women of Jerusalem who followed you were really brave to walk with you all the way along the road to God. Jesus is stripped and nailed to the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. Because of the holy cross, of the little that they have, while the wealthy and powerful accumulate more and more at the expense of little ones. Your hands that blessed sick people and caress little children are the same hands they have nailed mercilessly to the cross. One of the criminals standing beside me insulted me, saying, So you are the Messiah. Save yourself and us. We deserve the punishment. This is payment for what we have done. But this man has not done he has done no evil. Turning to me, he said, Remember me when you come into your kingdom. I replied to him, Truly, you will be with me today in paradise. Lord Jesus, help me to acknowledge my sins honestly, like the good thief. Help me to be sincere and humble in asking for your help in order to be saved because of the faith and the trust of the good thief. You did not disappoint him. Immediately you promised him salvation. Really seek your mercy and forgiveness and trust in your love and promise of salvation. We often come across people who have been guilty of having done wrong in the past, but humbly repent and would like to start a new life. Help me, Lord. Station 11. Jesus entrusts his mother to John. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Seeing my mother there with John, the disciple whom I love, I said to my mother, Woman, there is your son. In turn, I said to the disciple, There is your mother. As On he watched hour, you as a been heavier than the cross you carry. Unknown to the crowd, Mary followed you. But you knew she was there all the while. Your mother's pain and compassion as he walked to the Darkness came over the whole land, 
until mid-afternoon with an eclipse of the sun. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And at the time, the curtains of the sanctuary was, was torn into two. As soon as they heard this, some bystanders said, I was calling out for Elijah. Meditation. Lord Jesus, your nightmare of pain has ended. And suffering has come to an end. You have one life, dear Lord, and you gave it up in obedience to the will of the Father. Continue to die as people still respect human life and human dignity. Help me to commit myself to the perceiving life. Lord, as you have surrendered your spirit to your Father, I also commend my whole life to your service. As you die for me, let me also live for you. Amen. Amen. Have mercy on us all. <laughs> The 13th station, Jesus is buried in the tomb. He adored me, of Christ, in his last day because, because by your holy cross you have been healed. For my body, and the governor granted an order for its release to him. Joseph, therefore, took my body, wrapped it in a clean linen sheet, and laid it in his one new tomb, which had been cut out from a formation of rock. Then he rolled a huge stone across the entrance of the tomb. It just had to be. Meditation. Lord Jesus, your friends have laid you to rest. The stone is set in place. The dark night of death has engulfed you. were buried and then afterwards resurrected. I too will go through this cycle and resurrect from my sufferings if I stay close to you and leave my life united to you always. Amen. Christ rises from the dead. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed. The other Mary went to visit my tomb. Suddenly there was a violent earthquake. The angel of the Lord came down from heaven, went to the tomb, and rolled away the stone from the entrance of the tomb and sat on it. His face was like lightning, and his garment was white. He left the tomb at once in holy fear. He had been rejoiced, and they ran to tell the news to my disciples. Then I met them on the way and said, hmm. The women approached me and, do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee there. They will see me.